Hello, in this tutorial we will make another example using Node-RED and Modbus, but this time instead of emulating the Modbus server we will log into a real Modbus and read real values. So I will start adding a flex getter like the last time, but this time when I configure here I, I won't use local host because this time we will log into a real uh, device that is located at this address and at this port. So after that we will need to also to add a modulus response to listen with what's in the output and of course the same as before and inject here with the uh, empty string and a function here so I will connect this here this here and from the documentation of this node we can take an ex this example of the values we need to pass I will paste them here so um, yeah, just let me make this more readable. We don't need this because we are reading instead of writing. And so after doing this, don't forget to add semicolons here for safety. And that's, this is pretty much it here, but what we need to read now, or we like to read now, is, for example, the temperature. So, I want to read temperature, but I don't know what's the address. So I will need to go to see the spec specification sheets that comes with the device and look for the temperature. If you find it hard to understand this, you can simply go here and type search for temperature so yeah you see um, some devices have uh, by default some values like supply voltage or temperature so you can read what's what are these values on the on the device or gateway that you're using with Modbus so in this case the temperature is located in both six and seven address so what does that mean is that we will need to read from the address 6 we will need to read two values so I will put here also um, a summary of what I'm reading so it will be easier from the outside of this node to see what is what are the parameters being sent so now that I have this I can simply deploy and see what do we get so as you can see uh, we are actually reading now some data and um, so uh, we could probably we could easily try to read this directly um, yeah let's try to read this and see what it's in the output so yeah, as you can see, um, the values that, I, that I'm getting are not readable right now because this is on a specific format. So how do I change this format to what I want? So I will need to go back to the specification sheet and see that the format is specified. In this case, this is a float, but it's divided in two, um, in two values, in one two values that are 32 bits each and the least significant is first the most significant comes next you might be wondering why this format is like this I don't know exactly why but this Modbus protocol is kind of old it's probably more than 30 years old so uh, this is on 32 bits and now we mostly we have devices and 
and computers that work with 64 bits. So in order to convert this to 42 bits, the, I have a, a note here that I will copy and paste. And um, so this node basically will um, format what is what is what this thing is um, showing the output by well pasting this small piece of code that I took from from this um, URL. So if you want to read a better explanation of how this works you can simply go here uh, but briefly we'll just change this format into something that you can read so and and um, forgot to say we'll store the result in this variable you can you're free to change this to whatever works better for you so I will deploy this now and run this again so now you will see that oh wait I can read this because this by default reads the payload so I will change this to complete to just to read the the whole object so yeah whole object includes many things and here is the result that I want 34 uh, Celsius degrees makes more sense than what we were reading here so um, moreover um, we would also like to read other variables like for example um, supply voltage I uh, will simply copy this and paste it and also what else can we read maybe Let's see in the specification. Uh, we can also read, we will read supply voltage. We will also we are also interested in uptime. This means the days that this device has been working. It's also useful for creating alarms in case of uh, of some malfunction. This function. Oh wait, it's easier if I just simply copy this, paste it. I will only need to plug this in here. Sorry, plug this here. Plug this here. So, supply voltage it's on 4 and 5 at address 4 and 5. So, I will simply need to put 4 here. Update this with a 4. This is on and the uptime it's on address 2 so this will be address 2 address 2 here and done and I will click deploy so this time if I inject here I will have I will be able to see this is the temperature this is the voltage and this one will be the days that this device has been connected is as you can see it's less than one day it was connected today so uh, the problem is uh, we are sending the, all of this through the same bus and, and we in order to not get confused of what kind of value belongs to which kind of measurement we can always add some information send some information here so for example I will say I will divide this into user defined uh, parents and multiple parents. So in this case I can simply make up something like say device device um, device type and say this is radio model whatever um, also I should put what is the unique ID of the device so let's say this is 
the device name um, x001 um, and also well the units are very important so I would say here it's Celsius Celsius and don't forget to put this comma here and we're done with this so now after deploying this we should be able to see not only the result here but if I D into the into the information of input I should be able to see um, the, the information that I just created but um, did you, this used to work on previous version of this package of Modbus package but if you just updated to the latest version you will you won't work here so I think the best solution will be to create a different uh, JavaScript object so leave this as it was and simply just think about another firewall like I could say meta data and yeah paste this here so it will be do not go through this viral because it will be overridden and it should work now don't worry about these comments at the end uh, so if I deploy now um, let's see if I inject this now I should be able to see that so this is the result but I also have this object that is the main data so at uh, this end I can simply see that the information of the radio what device it is and what units are sending so I can know that this 34 are that temperature and it's in Celsius and you can also need to do that for the supply voltage and for the uptime so finally uh, I will add I would simply add a link here with this link so that we can take the output from here and use it on a different flow in our next tutorial we will start from here from this output uh, as an input of a different flow to either um, save it locally in a database and or uh, upload it to a, a cloud service of specific for Internet of Things. That's all. Thank you very much for listening and stay tuned. Bye bye.